Well, it took three years and five rounds of compromise, and it took four bills this session to get here again. But once again, it's up to Brad Little to decide if the state will regulate what books will be available for kids in Idaho schools and public libraries. You might remember he vetoed a bill last session. He feared it would create a bounty program on libraries for people looking to just get rich off lawsuits for finding inappropriate materials. Andrew Bartline has been following the latest fleet of these library bills this session. As we mentioned, there have been four of them. They seem to have found a winner. Yeah, and the governor, Brad Little's signature, is the only thing stopping it from becoming law right now. You mentioned veto last session. Doesn't look like that's in order this time around, but we'll have to wait to see for his official decision. This bill is hardly changed from the initial legislation we saw at the start of the legislative session. The bill held a lengthy debate as well in the Senate before ripping right through the House. The charge to thin out a select section of Idaho bookshelves wrote their session long mantra in ink. We're just taking them from here and putting them over here. That's all we're doing. One shelf to another. There will be some overzealous people that will want uh, a talking point to ban a book. Echoed through sponsor Senator Carlson. And that's not what this bill does. A challenge book that doesn't move in 60 days opens the library to an appeal and civil lawsuit. Where is pornography? Pornography is here. It's not in the libraries. A disagreement at the crux of debate. Mr. President, may I read from a book checked out of the library called Let's Talk About It? And a matinee performance. By your judgment, it's appropriate, correct? It's appropriate for children, so yes. I think we get the point. I can't read it on the floor, but it's good for kids. <clears throat> Seriously? A problem pinned to somewhere in the state. It sounds like it's a little bit here and there. It's important for me to listen to my constituents. I also feel that our libraries uh, do a good job. I'm yet to see a lawmaker stand up and say, my library sucks and that's why we need this. And so that, that's been tough for me to palette. Like, where is the library that this is happening? When you have an issue like this where multiple districts, multiple libraries are coming forward, multiple constituents across the state are coming forward, then you say we have a state issue and we now have to step in and solve it for the, for the whole state, as opposed to it just being a one-off library issue. It's, it's pretty prominent. And divisive, especially headed into campaign season. The cards that will be sent out in my district that say I'm pro-pornography because I was against this bill. A stand Democrats didn't take alone. Ending my legislative career, and I'd like to put my record for standing up for Idaho's children. Senator Abby Lee. At the center. Has nothing to lose. Thank you, Mr. President. She voted no for logical reasons. Others. Last year, across all of Idaho. On discrimination. 137 titles were formally challenged. 41% had LGBTQ plus content, and 49% represented black, indigenous, or people of color communities. Through years, rewrites, amendments. It's been quite a, quite a learning curve. But now, the newest ink would make it law. You know, I think that he's going to support this one. I, f I feel very strong about that. When we first reported on this piece of legislation at the beginning of the session or a previous iteration of it, Representative Crane told us that he did talk with the governor about the veto, asked him, what changes do I need to do to get a bill to your desk that you will sign? So he has done his homework, Brian, okay. on what the governor would sign. Assuming they mutually understood that conversation, it looks like Representative Crane did what he set out to do this session. Interesting, watching that debate on the Senate floor this morning, uh, watching every senator stand up, or mostly every senator stand up and say, the libraries in my district, well, they are taking care of this. This is an issue here, as you pointed out. Yeah. But somebody seems to think it's an issue somewhere. And I, it was also pointed out that in, during that debate, a lot of the senators saying, well, this is like one or two, maybe 10 books in all these libraries. But Senator Semeroth pointed out, there is a list out there in Idaho that lists nearly 200 books. Yeah. That many people have put up like, these are bad. And a lot of them, she said in her debate today, involve people that are gay, people of color, right. and that's been a huge criticism of this kind of legislation from the beginning is that it finds a common denominator and picks at them. Representative Crane just said that's just speculation. All right, so now to Governor Little for his consideration. Thank you very much, Andrew.